week has been tackling the Vikings perimeter players after they get the football. Now, Stefan Diggs is not going to play in this game tomorrow because of his groin injury, but you've still got Adam Thielen, Michael Floyd figures to get more reps because Diggs is out. Coaches have been hammering that in Green Bay all this week. The Vikings' big play productivity has been big so far. The Packers are shorthanded in their secondary. You got to get those guys on the ground. If you don't, the Packers might be on the receiving end of another memorable Vikings touchdown celebration. You know they busted out the <laughs> duck, duck, gray duck on Monday night. And yes, that is what it's yes, called. None it's of this duck, 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 goose bro. stuff. Duck, We've duck, heard that. Duck, I have been, goose, man. <laughs> be proud of where you're from, <laughs> Tom. I'm standing, like I am here, standing Tom. in Minnesota. It is gray duck. It is gray duck. Kyle Rudolph was wearing a duck, duck, gray duck shirt in the locker room yesterday. We've even turned Kyle around uh, to the right side of this thing. I've been told by a very reliable source, the Vikings plan to keep up with the children's game theme if they get in the end zone tomorrow. <laughs> oh. So is it Red Rover? Is hey, it a little freaking. freeze tag? I'm Play sure, Colleen, tag. you guys can come up with some ideas back there. Hey, hey, at least I, you call it freeze tag and not true. some freaky Minnesota name for it. I don't um, know, Tom. I've never seen a gray duck before. I don't know. The, I feel like the only place it might exist is Minnesota. Maybe. I've seen a goose, though. <laughs> All right. Thanks, have you Tom. ever seen a goose hang out with a bunch of ducks? That's, That's a not great how point. It works. I'm going to go have an... I'm going to go have an ice cold pop That's and just get over the run. stage. Pop, it's soda, all right? Listen. It's not, cold, I'm man. telling you, not two <laughs> seconds after they did that celebration, Tom texted and said, Duck, Duck, Gray Duck. And I said, What are you talking about? I don't, about? yeah, I had no, no idea. No idea what he was talking about. All right, it's Duck, Duck, Goose, everyone. But, Even, just like it's mischief night the night before Halloween. That's right. Moving on. Fairly Even good. though Except they're that, four and one, night. yes, the Packers offense hasn't exactly been clicking. Their numbers, well, nothing really jumps off the screen here. They only rush the ball about one third of the time, and they've given up. Up the second most sacks in the league. Mike Robb is in the film room right now. He's going to show us why the Packers offense is out of sync. Teach me. Yes, they are out of sync. Second most sacks given up in the league. Aaron Rodgers, we just heard my man Ike talk about how great and how special this guy is. They're getting him on the ground a lot, and it's because of the blocking unit. I got some tape here I want to show you guys. First of all, first of all, you look at right here. Before this play happens, Aaron Rodgers goes to the, goes to the line of scrimmage, and he tells everybody, I got, I got something coming from over this side, okay? And that's going to borrow this guard right here. Now I want you to just watch as this play plays out. Look how the guard is still stuck on this side, worried about the back's man. Again, allowing pressure right up the middle of the offensive pocket, allowing Aaron Rodgers to be pressured, allowing him to get hit. And this is what you don't want to see with Aaron Rodgers. You don't want to see that right there oh, with him good. covering his face. Uh, he can't throw the ball from that position right there. I, and this is happening all over the field. And you look at right here, great disguise by this DB. Anytime a defensive back is just looking straight ahead right there and he has a safety behind him, he's going to blitz. And when you see this one, again, Aaron Rodgers bars this backside guard so that these four guys right here can block these four guys right here. And as you watch this thing play out, if you watch it play out, they have the guys to block it. You have the back step up in the hole. But look, the offensive line did not bang out to this defensive back. Now, Aaron Rodgers still gets the playoff, but he takes that hit. That's what you don't want to see. You do not want to see Aaron Rodgers right there. Right that shot to the back up to the back of his helmet. You do not want to see that shot right here. And this is why I know you see Green Bay, they're doing great, they're winning some games, but it's hard for them. And if they don't get the inside part of this blocking unit uh, established and shored up, I don't know how many more games they're gonna win late in the season. Best yeah, team in the that, NFC. That's true, Mike Rob. And you look at that offensive line, five different O-line combinations, and it's only week six. They have, they've played five games. That's absurd. Tom, Tom Brady did the same thing, too, last year, right? They went yeah. through a lot of combinations. They did. They won the Super Bowl, right? Yeah, they did. So I guess know why? Because huh? they eventually came together when it mattered. So that's why you don't overreact in October. That's we'll good. See that's good if breakdown. That happens hey, man, that's what I do. Way to be, man. Way to be. I love man. to learn on Saturdays. No, come on, it's man. Great. And you come here. It's right. And you know what else? Fantasy. You come here for fantasy advice. Fantasy quarterbacks. Yeah, that's that bell. Ring it. They're a funny thing, but not as funny as Adam Rank's hot.